Look at all the themes I have. From brown to blue to red to white to blue again but white to black to grey to zenburn. Doesn't look that good though. And lots and lots more. I just use my mouse wheel to scroll through them. And there's even more. The default Inkscape only has four themes. This one's pretty good. And some of them are pretty bad because they waste so much space around here. And in general, the most themes you can find waste a lot of space, unfortunately. But maybe you can find the perfect one. And I'm gonna show you how to find it and how to install it. I will just reset to the system theme. And I will show you how to install this theme, for example. This is the Windows 10 by Boomerang Project. The link will be in the description of this video. Just go to that page. And you can, for example, go to this link here where you will find a download link over here, which is useful because it directs you to Pling, which is the continuation of open desktop theme sharing. And here you can find lots of other themes, but for now just press files, and then here download the dark or light version. We're gonna download both. Click that, click follow link, and then pick a folder to download to, unless uh, it picks automatically, and download this one as well, because why not? You could have also just gone to releases and clicked uh, source code here. Or you could have just went to clone or download and picked download zip. Okay, so we have these two files here. You can click them to open them. Or you can open the containing folder. Shown folder. Here we are. We're going to keep this window open. Minimize the browser. We don't need it for now. And now go to Inkscape and open preferences. To open preferences you go to edit preferences or you hit shift control p very useful combo shift control p preferences and here you have to go to interface and then to theming and here you can pick the themes you have but if you want to install a new theme go to user themes and press open this directs you to your app data folder then the local folder and then the themes folder that is the current folder for where inkscape gets more themes from now it's time to go back to this folder and the easiest way is to just double click one of these and then drag this folder in there. The important thing is that this folder, whatever its name is, the name of this one is not very important, it has to contain the GTK 3.0 folder in itself. So you can, for example, just drag the GTK 3.0 folder in there or you cannot just drag the GTK.CSS file in there, no. This will not work. You have to drag this unique named folder in the local themes folder. This can take a while. Many of these themes have hundreds of files. It's a bit of a mess in my opinion, but that's how it is. And we're just going to go and do the same with the Windows 10 Dark 3.2 Dark Zip. And just drag this in there. Okay, now these themes will not become instantly available here. Nope. That's not going to happen. You have to restart Inkscape. I recommend you keep the preferences window open and you can just hit Ctrl Q to quit it. Now just restart Inkscape. Let's go to Interface, Theming, and behold, the new themes are here. And you can switch with the mouse wheel or click and release. So that's how easy it is in Inkscape 1.1 or Inkscape 1.0. I'm using a 1.1 uh, dev version here. Now to find more themes, you just go to, for example, playing and click GTK free themes on the left. And then you will have to painfully look through them. You could go by score, you could go by plinged, what I guess that means uh, staff reviewed. But unfortunately, most of these themes have a horrible waste of space and they try to be nice and rounded and they waste so much space it's painful painfully i have to admit that the redmond 97 collection kind of uh, is the least space wasting kind of like the win 32 theme that's in there by default you just click files and pick the archive files you might want to use 7-zip for most of these for example tar xz or tar gz and you will have to unzip them twice because 7-zip is not very user friendly actually you might want to use winrar for that it's actually better in that case, it pains me to tell you that. 
You can also go to DeviantArt and look for the tech GTK3. There will be nicer previews here, but the problem will be mostly the same. They will be rounded, rounded, rounded and wasting a lot of space. So I very much ask for your help. If you find a nice theme that doesn't waste space and is just efficient and lets you get your work done, please let me know in the comments. Please. Just the name is uh, enough. You can also try to link it. That will be picked up by the anti-spam feature of YouTube, but I will moderate these after a while. I hope this helped you. Make Inkscape beautiful. I will see you next time. Ciao.